20 plus a game. You've been having, obviously, a good season. At what point tonight did you realize that they just couldn't guard you without Valentin? <coughs> Uh, probably pretty early on. Uh, just had a couple of quick drives to the hoop and kind of went from there. And then they um, switched uh, Santo over to me and then Alex got to go inside a bit more. And they did a good job fronting the post and making it tough for us to score inside. Um, but yeah, I think the free throw line was key tonight. We, uh, we kept them um, from their season average of 30 and we managed to get there a number of times, which was good. Now that said, you, you got there a lot, but you missed tonight yeah a lot below your average um anything specific to that or no i mean you're gonna have nights when you make them or you're gonna have nights when you miss some um i was actually surprised i shot i mean 65 percent or whatever i thought it was lower than that so um, <laughs> um but yeah i mean you're gonna have those nights and just gotta find other ways to score you guys uh and one thing coach spoke on specifically was you guys were up 15 um, six final six minutes of the game they they put up 25 points what do you guys need to change to be able to kind of put the foot on their throat and kind of close them out a little bit more yeah it's definitely been a problem so far and a lot of it's mental uh, being able to stay mentally engaged and not kind of zone out in the last eight minutes of a game when you're up by 10 and it, it's something that we've been able to overcome so far but it's something we need to fix moving forward because it could be could be a serious issue Um, you know, there was a lot of stuff we need to work on. Um, defensively, obviously, in that last eight minutes, giving up 25 points is not going to be able to cut it in most games. And uh, I think we did a good job moving the ball and getting getting good shots today, which was good. And then we did a good job helping out and making them shoot threes, which wasn't their strength. But they did make a number of threes, but that that happens in the game plan. I know it's kind of gone back and forth some. You've had the last probably five or six games the better end of it, but Alex, um, Alex missed nine shots tonight. Appeared at times pretty frustrated offensively, and he's had a few games of that. You guys, what what is he doing on the floor that you guys, or what can you guys do to kind of get him maybe some better looks, or is he just is he just going through a funk that he'll get out of? Uh, I think teams have been doing a good job on him, um, denying him the ball and fronting the post which makes it tough on him. At the same time, I think he's been getting great shots and he's just got to continue shooting it until he knocks him down. We know, we know what he can do as a player and how good he is, so we've got full faith in him and we know that eventually um, he's going he's gonna, to you know, get out of whatever he's in. I don't think, I mean, he had a terrible game tonight. I think he did what he needed to do and played the role which we needed to do to win. And, I mean, when you get a double-double in five blocks, you know, it's, you know, it's a good game for most people, but we know what he's capable of offensively, so we've got full faith in him and that he'll be able to contribute more offensively in the future, but in the meantime, we just need to pick it up for him. Do you think teams focus on Alex more than they focus on you? Um, not necessarily. I think uh, it's slightly harder for him when they double-team the post because I play more on the perimeter and uh, elbows, so I think it's hard to double-team from those areas. Uh, at the same time, I don't think they focus on either one of us particularly. I think they go in with a game plan and teams have been doing a good job against us. So, I mean, I think it's a credit to them. And Colorado State's always done a good job in terms of running the post and making it hard for the bigs inside. So it's a credit to them more than um, Alex having an off night, I believe. Cam, early on we had some big threes at the start of the game. What did Coach tell you in a timeout to close those opportunities down? I think they were ranked 283rd in the nation in three-point percentage, so we wanted them to take those shots. Unfortunately, they made them tonight, but our goal was to keep them off the free throw line, and we managed to do that decently, and that's, I think, why we were able to hold them until that last eight minutes to a pretty good score. Hugh hit a couple of threes, kind of got back into the flow a little bit. How much is the difference to just have him back out there? It really helps, you know, just having that stable leader on the floor, and even even when he's not contributing offensively, he's doing great stuff defensively and on the boards. And tonight he was managed to hit down a number of open shots, which we need him to do in order to spread the floor out. So I think he played a great game tonight, and it's great to have him back on the floor. You guys starting off at home, first one under your belt, not much conference play. That's that's it right there. You know we uh, we're all excited to come out here. Um, you know get back. Uh, 
to our championship ways in conference and um, get off on the right foot. So we were out there, and I thought we made a lot of good basketball plays, and um, uh, I think it's a good start to the to the conference season. Hughes back. He was in the starting lineup tonight. You know, how do you? What did you see from him tonight? Um, just, you know, uh, good old green, he, uh, 50% from the field, 50% from three points, um, um, great defense, great, uh, assisting, um, uh, just his presence, you know, I said it before, before the, before the game, having him back, his presence, he takes up a lot of the floor, um, uh, so I think that just helped a lot, it, it stabilizes our team, and it's just, um, there's a lot of, a lot of intangibles you can't even account for, but, uh, even his shooting coming back here and his rebounding, you know, obviously always rebounds, so it was just, um, uh, it's just nice to have the full team back. Ken, what's your specific goal? What does Coach want you to do by design? Do you have the green light from deep? And to take it to the hoop anytime you want? Uh, he gives me that freedom. He gives me that freedom. But with that freedom also comes responsibility. You know, um, I think I mean, this is probably the most shots I've taken all year. Um, and I wouldn't take too many of them back, to be honest with you. He wants me to be aggressive. He likes uh, when I'm playing that in-between role of a floor general and also aggressive. And, um, you know, personally, I liked, I liked how it panned out. And obviously, I liked the end of the at the end of the game. So uh, my role on the team, to answer your question, is, um, is just be versatile, be a leader, and do kind of whatever the team needs. Tonight, Cam went 8 of 13. So um, at sometimes I had to take a step back and we go inside. And Cam got in foul trouble. And so it was time for me to get to the to the rim. So I just think he wants me to use my experience to, to kind of keep the ship rolling. With the, the 25 points scored towards the end of the game, I mean, how tough was that? I mean, what were they able to do to, to kind of go on that you know, scoring output towards the end of the game? Yeah, that's probably our, our biggest focus right now is um, uh, is closing, um, not even closing close games, closing games when we're ahead that uh, at that margin. You know, we've always been a good team that has closed close games, but um, being able to put these teams away and, um, uh, you know, they came in here kind of inexperienced, first league game, and we should have been able to take that lead and, and run with it. But unfortunately, we kind of – um, took a step backwards and allowed them to creep back in. So it's just something we need to work on. It's a, it's a mental thing. It's um it's something that's just gonna have to keep uh, being aware of throughout the throughout the conference season. How do you deal with that? Um, uh, I think you just get back to the lab. You learn. Um, you, you you look at uh, what happened throughout the course of that stretch. Um, the coaches are obviously going to dissect it. They are, they always do a great job of of doing that and, uh, and 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 moving on. You know, we won the game. Uh, it's not a good thing that they came back and crept in, but uh, we're just gonna we're gonna listen to the coaches and um, and get their input and, uh, and and move on. You talked last week that your focus went up another level rebounding with you being out. What can that do now? That you know he's back in the lineup. You're rebounding better. You have the big. You know how big is that to have that advantage? Um, well, that's another thing Coach Neal said. He said, um, you know, I, ne I need to use my strengths. And one of my strengths is having the whole open floor in front of me. And uh, if I rebound the basketball, he gives me the ability to rebound and obviously set the team into the offense. So um, just being mindful of that, uh, they had they had a decent amount of offensive rebounds. But um, that's because we were forcing them to shoot threes, and then they had long rebounds. So, um, But if I can stick my nose in there and initiate the offense after getting <coughs> rebounds, I think that's really helping – the pace of the pace of our offense and getting quick uh, transition buckets and uh, immediate buckets. You've been around for some of these uh, title runs from the last couple of years. How important is it to start off the conference slate with a win like this? Oh man, I mean, uh, especially at home. I don't know how many teams. Um, well, I guess uh, before I got here, uh, really to reflect, uh, the year before I got here, they lost a couple games early. But I don't think um, it's too popular when you lose. A, a game, especially your first game at home or your first game in conference, to, to bounce back from that. So you want to start strong. You want to start with momentum. And and at the end of the day, the score was eighty to seven three New Mexico, and and we have uh, a one and no conference record. So it's a great thing.